Is it working? Is it working? We're on? We're on? We're on. Hi. Hey, what's up, guys? How are y'all doing today? Longshore here with Longshore's Outdoors. And today, we are going to do a unboxing video on an item that was sent to us by our friends over at Pinty Marketing. So, Gary, thanks for sending us the scope. Without further ado, let's get into our unboxing of this Pinty scope. Well, here we have one of the Pinty scopes. Let's go ahead and uh, crack it open and see what we're looking at. Well, commenting on the box, it uh, it's pretty rigid. It's not a uh, very flimsy. I, I can feel this is a no doubt a, a heavy duty box. And as you guys can see, we have the four bullet points, wide field of view, shock and recoil proof, fully coated lenses, aircraft grade aluminum alloy. <laughs> Sounds pretty snazzy. There you go, we'll just wiggle it loose. And finally. Right off the bat, looks like we've got some batteries. That's good. It's always nice to include those batteries that you need for any new toy. That way you don't have to make an additional purchase. Looks like they have a little cleaning cloth as well as your standard Allen tool. So that's good to have. A little bit of foam protecting the scope. This is also a great little storage box in case you want to preserve it for later. And check this bad boy out. Oh, let's let's get it out of the plastic. Oh, man. Take a look at that, folks. Pretty snazzy. Right on top. They do, of course, give you a red laser warning. You got to be careful. Don't want to have direct eye exposure to that. I would imagine whether you're on G or whether you're on R, that's the off position. So you can either be on G or you can be on R. This turret, you know, is pretty firm. Definitely has a tough feel to it. You can see here we have our windage and our elevation adjustments as for the laser. I really like the housing and how it extends off the front and then it has an angle at the finish so you have a little bit of a little bit of a shade a little bit of an extension looking at the mounts here pretty easy to loosen right off the bat with my fingers they didn't leave them too tight when they left we have uh, what appears to be two small allen bolts or screws that are holding this uh, bracket this rail bracket in place um, it feels very solid I mean definitely has a nice thick feel um, feels like one solid piece. So this thing is it's got it's got a nice feel and seems like it's really put together Oh nice So on your uh, windage adjustment, and I would imagine even on top here Interesting, okay So your elevation if you want to adjust that you kind of got to jam your fingers in the top of the housing here but on your windage you simply just make adjustments by clicking on this big turret, this big knob. Let's unscrew this guy and pop these batteries in. Go ahead and tear open our bag with the owner's manual. And the batteries, of course. Set our Allen key down. Let's get these batteries out. All right, let's drop these in. Boom, we've got a red laser. Has a nice, loud, audible click. Always enjoy having a nice button that makes a notice, noticeable sound. Yeah, let's go grab, let's grab a coin and we'll break this guy loose real quick. We'll go ahead and use this washer. Seems to be already a little loose. We'll unscrew this cap. 
We've got our CR2032 battery. Let's get this popped in. Drop it in. Lines up. There we go. You guys can see we got green there. And we have red there. Red is dead. Green is go. Green is obviously much better for daytime usage. And then red would, of course, be much more advantageous at the nighttime. So, but it seems to work, function good. I do like the way that this. Um, switch adjust i mean it pretty standard feels nice and secure we are looking at the penty 2.5 to 10 magnification 40 millimeter objective so that's what this bad boy is like i was saying i really do like how they have this shroud kind of extending off the top of the objective lens i think it looks really nice and tasteful and uh with this having a uni same mount you know you don't have two separate scope ring mounts this is all one piece um i like the way that they did this so uh, i think this is a really really great little secure package that you're getting here and i think this is going to be excellent for our carbine or any of our 22 rifles but you know what we're actually going to put on something a little bit more interesting so we are going to actually swap out this red dot and fix the scope onto this rail that we've put on here in the past. We'll just whip these screws right off. And you'll notice that this rail attachment is a unibody similar to the Penti scope that we're about to put on. Now the actual rail that we have on this crossbow is of a plastic resin. It's pretty strong, so I feel confident that uh, it'll take well to this penty scope that we're about to toss on just go ahead and line up our bolts make sure we get in the grooves on the rail that way we keep and maintain our position don't want that scope moving backward and forward so we want to make sure we line up those cross bolts inside the grooves on that rail now the same way we would tighten it onto an actual rifle we're going to bounce back and forth between the two screws with this washer, ensuring that we have an even tightening. Well, I think it looks pretty good on this crossbow. Well, now that it's mounted, let's go ahead and uh, get outside and fire off some bolts. This first one hit two inches to our right and about four inches high. So we're gonna readjust Let's try again. Nice. Y'all can see here, just after a couple minor adjustments, we are able to get that bolt a lot closer to the bullseye. Go ahead and do one more shot after just minor tweaking. That's not too bad. Y'all can see here that we literally shot just a centimeter below our previous shot. So we're staying on point. The consistency is there. Well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I hope y'all enjoyed watching this today. I hope it helped you in some way. And if it did, please like or give us a comment down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Longshores Outdoors channel. We're always uploading new inexpensive videos on different things. So stay tuned and keep us in the loop.